Salutations and good morrow, everyone, and welcome back to Endzone, A World Apart. We are picking up right from where we left off after our first look at this game, just to kind of see what we got going on. Looks like our scrap limit currently is full, so I'm going to take that worker off of that scrapyard, and I'm going to put them somewhere else, probably somewhere important, like getting another fisher to get our food up. What we're going to do today is we're going to try to stabilize and get food back where it needs to be, because right now it is not looking very good. We're also going to try to get some more people in by building some more houses. Looks like our uh, running out of protective clothing. Ah, we are at zero. So let us build the tailor right away. Resources. Let's get the tailor shop in. We're going to put it right in the middle of town. Please, builder, get that built up as fast as you can. It's your only task. So, ooh, we don't have enough wood. Oh, we do have enough wood. Okay, they're just delivering it. Do we have enough cloth? We do have enough cloth. Okay. Done, done. Construction progress only. Can we get that built up so we can start getting some protective clothing down so people do not get sick? How are we doing? Rainwater, we're collecting 19. Okay, that's good. Let's get a tailor in here right away. Let's get this builder taken off. How are we doing on professions? All right. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. We're hanging in there. We're going to get the... We're going to get our food taken care of now. Uh, what's wrong with water? Stockpile in this is running low. The water is not running low. We have almost 2,000 water, but we're probably going to need to get more. Three people are without protective clothing. Hopefully this guy... Yeah, you're already done with two. So if we could just get those transported back to the bus. We should be getting taking care of protective clothing here now. We have lots of cloth to be able to do it. Oh crap, I can't make that guy. Just that one. Production limit of 50. That's good. Let's get that going. We need more children to grow up. They're very close. We almost have five children that are about to grow up. And once that happens, we're going to put in another farm. We're going to try growing something else. Maybe potatoes, because potatoes sound good. And we're going to get more water collection going, because we definitely need to get more water collection. Scrap is still holding strong, so we don't need to worry about that. Tools are going to be running out soon. How are we doing here? Lots of wood still. I'm going to change this field of work. I'm just going to change it to be like out here because there's still some herbs and everything out there that we could get and make our people better. How are we doing here? Scarves. Oop, our protective clothing is going up. So that's awesome. We're getting that taken care of now. Um, Let's get some roads down. That's what we should do. Let's get some roads. Logistics. Road. I would like to put a road down just right here. There we go. And I want to run one out. Uh, this way if I can and run up here perfect now we need to just hurry up and wait for these children to grow up so let's just fast forward a little bit faster and wait for us to get our 18 adults food is is hanging in there it's not the best but it's hanging in there children oh people are having more kids Judith Lorenzo Deborah Kevin Andrew Marilyn all of you guys are ready to grow up Let's get it done. Come on. Oop, we got 16 children. There was another child that was just born. That's beautiful. We're going to start running lower on water, though. So we really need you guys to start growing up. All right. Here we go. We're doing good. So food and water. Let's take care of both of those. We're going to grab another cistern. Um, you, water, cistern. I would like to put you down right over here so I don't have to walk very far from there. Also while we're here um can we build a well what does the well require again scrap only to get the well okay so the well can get water no matter what time of year so i would like to get that well put in we're gonna need a builder so one of you guys is gonna become a builder and let's get another gather and another fisher just so we could try to get a steady supply of food in here Perfect. Solving this food problem is not easy. Like I said, this game in the last video, this game is not meant for people who do not, who are not good at city builders because things can get out of hand wicked quick if you're not on your toes and you're not multitasking and micromanaging very well. So looks like we're running into a rainy season, which is good. Let's get, can I get another person on this? I think I can, yeah. How many people do I got left? No more people, but we have four water carriers. Let's get five water carriers. 
They're still working on this cistern. The construction guy needs to come over here and work it. We need a well worker now as well. All right. How are we doing on gathering? I don't really want to remove anybody from food to do this. Um, let's get let's get everything built, and then uh, once this guy is built, we're gonna put somebody into well worker, into well keeping, I should say. Which well keeping ensures a steady flow of water. Okay. Um, let's do that, and let's put a well keeper in. So hopefully, hopefully they'll bring water back and forth right here, and that will be a steady supply of water. Our food seems to be increasing now, which is good. Adults, we apparently we have more adults now. How many do we have? We have one more. That's good. I think we need a builder just to put down the roads, so I'm not really worried about that at the moment. Um, we have Marilyn, uh, Caesar, and Stani Salas that's about to become a adult so when they are we're gonna get another farm put in so let's hurry up and get the the food the farm ready we're just gonna do another six by six okay this one we're gonna turn it off at the moment but when it comes in it's gonna make potatoes 252 food for four seasons actually 152 food 216 food for three seasons. Growing time, four seasons. You know what I want to do? I think what I'll do is I'm going to shoot for wheat on this field here. We're going to go for wheat on that field. Oop, looks like we have an adult that just grew up. That's good. Let's get that guy going. And let's add two more to the workforce. Just like that. Perfect. So then we're going to start getting that wheat growing. We got one person that's missing a house. So let's slap a house in here. Let's see. Housing. Cabin. Turn you around. You are neighbors to the back. Beautiful. I don't think we have a builder though, do we? We do not. Okay, let's pull off a fisher for a moment to get that guy going. The refinery, we're sitting pretty good for protective clothing. People are still going to be healthy for a while. Our food problem is slowly getting fixed. I'm not going to lie. It is slowly getting fixed. We are doing better than we were before. Our water problem is not doing the best. I would like our water problem to be increasing, please. Let's see. Food. We've produced five. Okay, this is 500 food inside of there. So that doesn't attribute to that. I think all that attributes to is what's inside of here. Which in here we have beans and mushrooms. Yeah, so that doesn't actually count what's inside of this fishery that has 500 food in there. So we are okay. Technically, we have a thousand food, but I don't like how unsteady that is. Also, what does our gathering hut have in it? Uh, 471. So we just need somebody to, to pass that back and forth. I wonder if it's because we don't have any settlers. And we got our housing built. Um, they're almost done with the road. When they're done with the road, I'm going to take them off and then they can just transport stuff around. How many children do we have? Oh, Sanisa, Sarah, Caesar. Everybody's starting to grow up. Okay, so we're starting to get more people around, which is perfect. That's what we needed. Um, we don't need this builder anymore, so I'm going to take him off. And hopefully what that'll mean is that they're going to come up, they're going to work this, and they're going to move, um, we're going to put three to that workforce. That way maybe they'll be forced to um, move the stuff around to transfer the food like I want them to. Looks like the crop is growing in well. Almost ready to harvest our cabbages. Almost ready to harvest our bell peppers. And we're about halfway there on the cultivated field of wheat. Oop, we got two more people without a house. Let's build another house. There's, you constantly have to build cabins in this game, but you just want to be careful with how many cabins you build. All right, let's start another. Um, let's start another neighborhood on this side here. Built down. I put down two houses because they go through. Um, you need to add houses so often that you almost have to do that. 
All right, do we have a person? Let's get a builder in. Let's get another farmer. In fact, let's get two farmers down. That'll help. And let's convert one more of you guys to a gatherer. Let's do that. Cool. People are growing up quickly. We're going to need to increase our water per people here very quickly. So when Jake, you are going to become a water carrier. So professionals, Jake, you are a water collector. Go. I want to keep one settler here because they constantly do stuff. What's this? New task. Gather resources. Scrap collapse or scrap gathered. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. Let's just turn this guy back on. So it wants me just to gather up some scrap. It wants me to get to 500. What's the max I can have here? 500? It wants me to get to 525. I can't gather 525. Okay. I guess that means I'm going to need a warehouse, wherever that is. Probably in logistics. Warehouse. Put the warehouse in right there. A lot more room to gather stuff up. Uh, did we get both of those houses built? We did, and we still need one more. Let's get another house in. This game ramps very quickly. It ramps very, very quickly. That's Like I said, things can get out of hand very fast. All right, what do we got for people? It's just a lot of children right now. Jennifer, Eric, Anne, Leonard, and Kerr are all going to be becoming adults very soon here. Get this warehouse built, please. And then I need to send you over here to build this house. Hey, look at that. Emma and Caesar, right here, both young adults, going to be popping out kids very soon here. Um, let's get another water collector. I'm worried about our water storage. Far our food is going to be okay because we're steady. And then we're about to harvest this wheat. We're about to harvest this. Oh, we're not going to harvest that anytime soon. But we are about to harvest our cabbage, which is going to be great. So I think our food, now that it's not the best, but it's getting there. It's steady, I should say. It's steady. Um, it's going to get even better here in a moment. I think the food goes down once they like go and pick it up. So we'll see like our warehouse is in we can now store well our scrap says it can only store 500 i would like to change that um you scrap how do i change that inventory limit that's how we do it is it maybe not um do i have to upgrade this guy in order to do it oh right here production limits okay scrap let's go um well, water, let's let's add another zero to that guy. We never want to run out of water. That's your max water. Max food, uh, let's add a zero to that guy too. 30,000 food is our max. Uh, next scarves, raw materials right here, scrap. Let's make this um, 800 scrap is our max that we can collect for that. How close are we here? We have 11 minutes and we're already at 416. So I think we're going to make it. I hope we're going to make it. How is our gathering hut? There's so much, like I said, there's so much to worry about with this game. So you got to constantly be on top of your toes. What do we got? One professional left. Settler that's just moving stuff around. Looks like the harvest for wheat is coming in. And they're, tra they're transferring that back and forth, which is great. Guys, stop standing around, please. Please get back to work. I'm not paying you to stand around. Okay. More settlers. More professionals here. More houses required. Let's start another neighborhood back here. We're just gonna go boop, cabin. We're gonna go boop, boop, and boop. Beautiful. And let's get that road put down just like that. Perfect. How's our scrap guys doing? They still have 600 scrap over here, which is okay because we can always swing them down here. We have this whole neighborhood over here where there's more scrap. There's this whole neighborhood over here that there's probably a ton of scrap at. Um, these wind turbines can be scrapped. So there's there's plenty of scrap around for us to keep going for a very long time. Our food situation, eh, it could be better. Looks like they just got done harvesting the cabbages and bell peppers are about to be harvested as well. So that's gonna go up to 72 if we could just get our stuff put away. Soil moisture is dry, so this, it's not pro providing the best for our people, but it's going to be okay. Looks like we're running out of tools now. Okay, so we need to go resources, workshop, and build the Mother Russia tool shop. I can't build that there, so we're going to build it down here. 
on the outskirts of there. Do I have a builder still? I do. Great. We let's get a couple more water, uh, one more water carrier, one more fisher, one more gatherer, another farmer. Um, and then once this guy's done, we're definitely gonna need another builder. Uh, we do love these mounds of garbage, but we turned out to be a bit too much. Did I not complete it? Oh, I didn't complete it because I kept building things, Dirter. Okay. Not a lot left over here. Let's change this field of work. Let's send them down here. Uh, better luck next time. Uh, I guess I failed another task without even thinking I failed another task. Metal. Oh, I don't have any metal. Okay. Let's get um, this guy here. I oh, not that guy. Where is he? This guy? Nope. Is this guy? Nope. You? Oh, you. Recycler. There it is. Metal. I need you to switch from cloth to metal. We got 60 cloth. We got plenty. Radi radiation suits. We got plenty of... Um, <clears throat> we just need the metal for this guy. Settlers. I want to get another farmer in here. And then I also want to see what other four sorts of food we can get. An orchard. An orchard provides food like trees, nuts from trees. Although orchards can be created without construction cost, it needs to, it needs time to allow them to grow. Okay. Um, cultivated field. Let's look at soil wetness, soil moisture. Everything around here is dry right now. That's not good. Um, hopefully that'll change coming tomorrow. Fishing huts, gatherers, cabin. Let's try another fishing hut. I hope that these are as useful as I think they are. But with that last fishing hut and us getting that in, let's get this moisture level off here. I think that that actually may fix our problem. I'm hoping. Metal, looks like we have zero metal made so far. How are we doing over here, dude? We got two inside of you when we need that to come over here. Okay. How are we doing with gathering up all this stuff? We're doing great. All right, guys. Well, that is it for our second episode of Endzone, A World Apart. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. If you guys liked it, hit that like button, subscribe, and or leave me a comment down below. I'd love to respond back to you and see what your guys' thoughts are on Endzone, A World Apart. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.